Hey team, it's me coming at you live from my apartment featuring my Christmas tree that's still up, but it'll be down soon. I'm moving soon. I'll move it then. Um, I just wanted to update you on a few things. First of all, um, I just want to kind of explain to you how this is working. I don't want you to think that I'm bailing on y'all, um, or not paying as much attention to you. Um, so kind of here are how things are going. We're all, as in teachers, um, creating different materials for different grades. So I am creating materials for English 1, um, and I'm doing all of English 1, and Coach Crunk has been creating the materials for English 2 since these are kind of uncharted waters for us, and um, we just have a lot to work with. Our assignments are due a few weeks at a time, so um, I just kind of wanted to explain that little process to you and why I think I left one of her video updates in, and... Um, the language is probably more detailed and more organized than I normally am, and I'm sure you've noticed, and that is because it's coming from Coach Crunk, the content itself, um, but we, we stay in the loop and we talk about what we're going to do. Um, so if a link is ever not working or it hasn't copied everything over, I apologize. That's just us trying to get everything figured out in Schoology. Um, Please, please, please bear with your teachers during this time. This is all new to us. We are constantly having, um, being redirected, having new guidelines, new things that we have to do to help you and to, um, to try to figure out this digital world during these scary times too. So, um, just try to, try to go easy on your teachers. I'm sorry if you've been feeling overwhelmed. Hopefully you'll notice that we've cut way back on work. Everyone else has cut way back on work as electives are being introduced. Um, so your assignments now for us are going to be probably 15 to 30 minutes. No more than that. Won't even be a full class period's um, worth of work. So uh, that being said, I just I just kind of wanted to throw that out there, let you know why you may be feeling like you're hearing more from Coach Crunk than you are from me. And I'm sorry I haven't been on top of making him videos as much as I should be. Um Second order of business, grading. I will be grading all week and we'll have stuff in the grade book by the end of this week. The grading process is different right now. Um, I won't be taking late work yet. So I will be putting missing in the grade book and that's when you need to turn stuff in. But as far as taking late work for right now, that's I'm not going to do that. So if you have something from last week, don't worry about it. You don't have to ask my permission to turn it in late. I'm not going to count off points. Go do it. I know we all have a lot going on. Some people, you know, um, your parents are essential workers. You're having to help out with your siblings. I know. I know. Trust me. Um, I have a lot of family stuff going on right now, too. It's, it's a lot on everybody, um, even you. So I, I am sympathetic to that, and I... Really, I'm, I just, we're not going to count late work right now. You're only going to have 10 grades, and they're going to be 10 daily grades, um, with the exception of two of those will be tests, so they will be worth two daily grades, but we're not doing test grades this fourth nine weeks, if that makes sense. So um, you'll have 10 regular grades, but two of those will be counted twice and those are going to be like the unit tests you would be taking um we'll give you multiple days to do those like i said we're trying to separate it out and chunk the work a little bit at a time but we don't want you to fall behind we are really um still trying to make sure that you know what you're supposed to know by the end of this year um before you move on junior or senior work gets a little different for English, um, English 3, English 4, because you're no longer tested, gets a little more technical, a little more difficult. Um, as far as what you're being asked to do, you're writing a lot and you're understanding a lot. Um, it's far less question-based, so we need to make sure that we we finish teaching you that sort of thing. So you will have tests coming up. Um, we're going to read through Educated, and then we're going to do some research-type stuff toward the end of the year for our last unit. Um I think that about covers it on grades. If you have anything else, let me know. Y'all have had very few questions lately, which is amazing because I get about 10,000 questions a day from my freshmen, like literally probably one every five minutes, which is fine. Um, it makes me a little nervous, but maybe again, it's just that Coach Crunk's directions are more thorough than mine. But if you need help, please don't um, hesitate to reach out. If a link is broken, again, we see stuff differently on our screen. We have less blockers. So I, I'm so sorry. 
please just message me and I'll try to get that fixed as soon as possible. Um, I am trying to think of what else we may be missing. Um, if you have any questions, you need help focusing with this book, something like that with just the audio, let me know. We'll see what we can do, okay? Um, if you're feeling overwhelmed or upset at all, please reach out. And also, I miss y'all. And if you just want to reach out and say hi and tell me how you're doing in life, I would love to hear how you're doing. Went to the classroom last week, got a little emotional. Um, I Even if it doesn't matter to you, I miss every single one of you. It matters to me. I will 1,000% probably cry after I talk to you. I miss y'all. So, please... Tell me how you're doing. Um, keep up with me on social media or let me follow you on my teacher Instagram so I can at least see what you're doing during the quarantine. Okay, I will talk to you soon. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.